This sign tells a driver that A. A construction flagger is ahead. B. A police officer is ahead. C. A parking attendant is ahead. A. A construction flagger is ahead. This sign warns that there is a flag person ahead. Always follow directions given by a flagger. Flaggers normally wear orange or yellow vests, yellow-green shirts, or bright jackets. They use paddles and red flags to direct traffic through the work zone and to let workers or construction vehicles cross the road. This sign shows one type of A. Right turn B. Intersection C. Lane change B. Intersection Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns that your current road ends at an intersection straight ahead. Slow down and prepare to yield or stop before turning right or left. If you come upon a severe dust storm, you should A. Slow and pull off the road. B. Turn on your high beams. C. Maintain your speed and stay in your lane. A. Slow and pull off the road. If you encounter a severe dust storm, you should immediately check traffic around your vehicle, begin slowing down, drive completely off the highway and stop as far to the right as possible taking care not to stop in the travel lane or emergency lane, turn off your lights, take your foot off the brake, stay in the vehicle with your seat belts buckled, and wait for the dust storm to pass. Which of the following statements about blind spots is true? A. Blind spots are eliminated if you have one outside mirror. B. Large trucks have bigger blind spots than most passenger vehicles. C. Blind spots can be checked by looking in your rearview mirror. B. Large trucks have bigger blind spots than most passenger vehicles. Even if a vehicle is properly equipped with rear view and outside mirrors, it still has blind spots that cannot be seen in the mirrors. Large trucks have much larger blind spots than most passenger vehicles. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. A driver entering freeway traffic from an entrance or acceleration ramp. A. Has the right of way. B. Should yield to drivers already on the interstate. C. May force their way into traffic. B. Should yield to drivers already on the interstate. If you are on an entrance or acceleration ramp and entering freeway traffic, you should yield to drivers already on the freeway. Merge safely into traffic when you are able to do so. You should signal continuously while turning because it A. Is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. B. Let's other drivers know what your intentions are. C. Is always unsafe to turn off a signal before completing a turn. B. Let's other drivers know what your intentions are. You should always signal when turning, changing lanes, slowing down, or stopping so that other drivers, motorcyclists, bicyclists, and pedestrians will know your intentions. If pedestrians are illegally crossing in the middle of the street instead of in a crosswalk, you A. Must stop for them. B. Do not have to stop for them. C. Should honk your horn at them. A. Must stop for them. You must yield to pedestrians at all times. If the pedestrians are jaywalking or crossing the street where they should not be, you must still stop for them. When entering a roadway from an alley. A. Stop at the sidewalk. B. Honk your horn. C. The speed limit is 15 miles per hour.
A. Stop at the sidewalk. When entering a road from an alley or driveway, you must stop before reaching the sidewalk. If you want to enter the freeway but you don't see a gap in traffic, you should A. Maintain your speed and force the other drivers to create a gap. B. Slow down on the ramp to wait for a gap. C. Stop at the end of the ramp to wait for a gap. B. Slow down on the ramp to wait for a gap. If you want to enter the freeway but do not see a space for your vehicle in traffic, slow down on the ramp to wait for a gap. Do not drive to the end of the ramp and wait for a gap or you will not have enough room to accelerate to the speed of traffic before entering the roadway. You should not use your horn? A. When visibility ahead is limited. B. If you might hit another vehicle. C. Near blind pedestrians. C. Near blind pedestrians. When driving near a blind pedestrian, using your horn may be dangerous. Yield to the pedestrian and proceed when it is safe to do so. You are driving behind a motorcycle and want to pass. You must a. Stay in the right lane as much as possible because the motorcycle is small and doesn't use all of the lane. b. Blow your horn to make the motorcycle move onto the shoulder so that you can pass. c. Have your vehicle entirely in the left lane before and during the pass. c. Have your vehicle entirely in the left lane before and during the pass. When passing a motorcycle, allow a full lane to the motorcycle. Never crowd into the same lane as the motorcycle. Returning to the original lane too soon can force a rider to swerve to the right and into traffic or off the road. You have allowed the wheels of your vehicle to run off the edge of the pavement. What should you do first? A. Turn the front wheels slightly to the left to edge the car back onto the pavement. B. Hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. C. Apply the brakes and turn the front wheels sharply to the left. B. Hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. If your vehicle leaves the roadway, hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. Wait until your speed has reduced, check the traffic, and look for a place to safely return to the roadway by merging back into traffic. Overcompensating by jerking the wheel to return to the roadway can cause you to lose control of your vehicle or may cause your car to go into other lanes of traffic. This sign indicates that the road ahead A. Turns sharply right, then left. B. Curves right, then left. C. Curves right. B. Curves right, then left. This sign warns of a reverse curve in which the road curves to the right, then to the left. If your car becomes disabled while on the highway, you should A. Stop in the right lane. B. Park with all four wheels off the traveled highway, if possible. C. Stop where you are. B. Park with all four wheels off the traveled highway, if possible. If your vehicle becomes disabled, you must, if possible, park with all four wheels off of the main traveled portion of the road. Which of the following road surfaces freezes first? A. A tunnel. B. An intersection. C. A bridge. C. A bridge. Pavement on bridges and overpasses can become icy even when other surrounding pavement is dry. Bridges often freeze before, and thaw out after, the rest of a road. This sign tells you that 
A. No turns are allowed on the road. B. The road narrows ahead. C. There is a series of curves ahead. C. There is a series of curves ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns drivers about an upcoming winding road. This sign means A. Winding road ahead. B. Do not enter. C. Pedestrian crossing. A. Winding road ahead. This sign warns of a winding road ahead. This yellow sign means A. One lane ahead. B. Merging traffic ahead. C. Lane ends ahead. B. Merging traffic ahead. This sign warns of the possible presence of merging traffic. When entering a main roadway from a private road, drivers A. Have the right of way. B. Should yield to traffic already on the road. C. Should honk at other drivers to get them to move more quickly. B. Should yield to traffic already on the road. Drivers entering traffic from a private road must yield to traffic already on the road. They must also yield to pedestrians on any sidewalk that is crossing the private road. When merging onto the freeway, you should be driving a. at or near the speed of the freeway traffic b. at the legal speed limit c. more slowly than the freeway traffic a. at or near the speed of the freeway traffic You should enter a freeway at or near the speed of traffic, unless the speed of traffic exceeds the legal speed limit. If your vehicle begins to skid, you should a. ease up on the gas pedal b. brake as hard as possible c. turn off the ignition a. ease up on the gas pedal If your vehicle begins to skid, release the accelerator or brake pedal to regain vehicle balance. Steer in the direction of the skid to regain control of the vehicle. This sign means A. Curves ahead. B. Divided highway starts. C. Divided highway ends. C. Divided highway ends. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns that the divided highway ends ahead. Prepare to change lanes or shift lane position. The maximum posted speed limit should be driven only. A. During the night. B. During the day. C. Under ideal conditions. C. Under ideal conditions. The posted maximum speed limit is the fastest legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. It is safest to drive at the same speed as surrounding traffic, up to the maximum speed limit. Maintaining a safe speed at all times is a responsibility shared by all motorists. A broken yellow line down the center of a road indicates that A. A construction zone is ahead. B. Passing is not permitted from either direction. C. Passing is permitted from either direction. C. Passing is permitted from either direction. When broken yellow lines separate the lanes of traffic on a two-lane roadway, any driver may pass when there is no oncoming traffic. You are driving on the freeway. The vehicle in front of you is a large truck. You should drive a. Closely behind the truck in bad weather because the driver can see farther ahead than you can. b. Farther behind the truck than you would when following a passenger vehicle. c. 
No more than one car length behind the truck so the driver can see you. B. Farther behind the truck than you would when following a passenger vehicle. When you follow so closely behind a truck that you cannot see the truck driver's side view mirrors, the trucker cannot see you and has no way of knowing you are there. Tailgating a truck, or any vehicle, is dangerous because you take away your own cushion of safety if the vehicle in front of you stops quickly. When should drivers adjust their mirrors, seats, and steering wheels? A. Before turning on their vehicles. B. While backing out of their driveways. C. Before reaching speeds of 55 miles per hour or above. Drivers turning left must yield to A. Overtaking cars. B. Oncoming cars. C. No one. B. Oncoming cars. Drivers turning left must yield to oncoming vehicles that are driving straight ahead. A turning driver may only proceed when they can safely turn without affecting oncoming traffic. This road sign means A. All traffic must turn right. B. All traffic must go straight. C. A side road intersects ahead. C. A side road intersects ahead. Warning signs provide notice to road users of a situation that might not be readily apparent and are usually yellow with black markings. This warning sign tells drivers to be alert to an intersecting side road ahead. If you are driving and you see animals standing near the roadway? A. Speed up to scare them away. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Quickly swerve into the next lane. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. Slow down and proceed with caution if you see animals that are standing near the roadway. They may unexpectedly bolt or change direction at the last moment. Some animals travel in packs, so there may be more animals just out of sight that are also near the road. This road sign means A. Drive with caution and be ready to stop. B. You must come to a complete stop. C. Stop, if necessary. B. You must come to a complete stop. The stop sign is the only eight-sided sign you will see on any roadway. When you encounter a stop sign, you must come to a complete stop. You may not proceed until the way is clear for you to completely and safely pass through the intersection.